when you're getting ready to hem your trousers take both legs on the fold like that and you put them together you sort of want to get the waistband horizontal to the floor so actually dip them on the floor and when that's good I pin both legs together Here are our trousers, we've pinned both legs together. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this straight so we have something nice and straight to work from. Before we go do any actual hemming, I'm going to run a zigzag stitch on the edge of the leg. Um, just to make sure that the fabric doesn't wrap. As we've cut them off equally, we don't we don't no, no longer leave need to leave them pinned together. So I'm gonna remove the pins and then zigzag. Now to do this type of a thing, um, to make it a little easier, if you get one of these, you can hopefully remove part of your table and then you can just let it roll around this bottom part, which makes it a whole lot easier. There we go. What we're going to do to hem these trousers is we're going to attach um, this ribbon to the end of the trousers. Um, it will give them a little extra strength because the bottom of your trousers may be, you know, they'll be bumping into your shoes and maybe sometimes the floor when you're running barefoot or on your socks. Um, so we're going to add this ribbon. Now, how do you do that? It's, this is the, the trouser leg, just the right side out. Um, you put the ribbon like this or like that, wherever you want your trousers to end should be the top of the ribbon. So if this is where the trousers should stop, you can measure them on yourself, you can wear them, put your shoes on and stop them exactly where you want them to be. You just line that up with the top of the ribbon. So let me just take a pin to show that. Let's say that this is where we want the trousers to end, that pin there. Then you just align the top of the ribbon with that pin like that, and then we're going to sew the ribbon all the way around the leg, but on the outside. The reason for that is that we're going to sew it top and bottom of the ribbon, and then we're going to fold all of this back, like that, and the ribbon will sit on the inside of the trousers. Okay. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to pin this ribbon on the trousers all the way around. We're going to overlap the ribbon a bit and cut it under an angle, like that. Make sure it doesn't overlap over your um, the crease in your leg because that will make it harder for the crease to stand nice and sharp as you can see now we're going to sew the top all the way around when you sew take your pin out before you get to the place you want to sew so that you know it's nice and straight We got one side done here. As you can see, we got the ribbon. It's all the way around. So, just do the same at the other end. And you're good. So put 
that on your ironing board, you press and you want to get it just on the edge of the ribbon so that actually the ribbon peaks out just a little bit. So when you run your finger there you should feel actually ribbon and not the fabric. But when you look down like that you don't see it. Just press that in place and then we're gonna attach it. After pressing, our trousers look the business. They look as if they're finished, but this thing on the inside can still flop out. So we need to attach that. And to do that, we're going to hand sew this to the inside here. Now, there's ways to do this on a machine. You can do a so-called blind hem stitch, if you have a machine that does that. But I prefer to hand sew it if you're going to make the effort of making trousers from scratch. It's not that much to hand sew it and it's always more invisible. So what you do is you just take a needle and you just grab that thing here and then grab just just a skimch of the fabric here. Like you don't even go through so you don't see it on this side. Or if you go through just a tiny little bit so it doesn't show up. And just sew that entire inside to the leg. Then we're done here. Hemming is done. The only thing left to do is for me to put on the button or rather the hooks and the eyes here. But unfortunately I don't have them now so I can't put them on. And then do a little hand sewing here once that's done. And then our trousers are finished. This was our last instruction video for trousers from scratch. Um, our trousers are finished, yay! Um, with the notable exception of our button or our hook, but um, I don't have one and the shops are closed. It's Saturday evening, they won't be open tomorrow. So I won't be able to get it until maybe next weekend. And I don't want to wait that long. Also, I don't really think a video is needed for you to learn how to sew on the bottom. Um, so that was it as far as me telling you what to do goes. Um, I'm going to do one more video after this where I'm going to wear the trousers so you can see um, what they look like. And I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the things that I'm happy about and also the things that I'm not so happy about. Maybe things we can try to do better when we make some other trousers in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to check the next video. Um, but in any case, thanks for sticking with me and see you.